Hi, this is Debbie from the Wildly Whimsical Crafting Loft. Today I have a couple of things to share with you. First, I want to let you guys know that I'll be releasing my new line of Digi Stamps on November 22nd in our crafting newsletter. The newsletter is for free. If you don't have it, please go to Wildly Whimsical Crafting Loft, hit the subscribe button, and that newsletter is going to come to you via your email. I will be releasing my Digi Stamps in that newsletter as well as we have some very talented designers who work for us that will be sharing projects and product news as well as crafting venues and, and things like that. So you'll want to get that letter. Anyway, today I have a great project that's for those little, those little ones that, that make up those Christmas wish lists. And I'm going to be using the Digi Stamps that I created that I'll be releasing on November the 22nd. And But I'm going to show you how to take a Digi Stamp to a different level and make that digi stamp pop and become 3D on your project. Just like you would if you did a Cricut cut or a Sizzix cut or you had an e-crafting machine. But anyway, let me show you how this works. Um, the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to decide if you want to use a Cricut cut or a digi stamp or whatever. And the digis that I'll be releasing are going to come in three different formats. You can buy a single digi, you can buy a black and white color, or you can buy the sheets where you can build them. And that's what we're going to do today is build a digi. And so these are what the sheets look like in black and white. They're build a digi. But you can do it in the whole scene. And it gives you all the elements to build that entire scene. But today we're not going to do a scene. We're going to just do the heads of the snowman. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pop off three of these heads because you're going to layer those to give that, that, that element, that 3D element. So go ahead and pop you off three heads. Once you do that, the next step is you're going to cut one of these out, all the elements of it. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to cut this hat out on the second one, that's it. And then the third one, you're going to cut all the elements of it out as well. And I just pumped out two right now just to show you this video. Then the next step that you're going to need is you're going to need to pump you off four of the poinsettias. And then once you do that, you're going to cut up all around the poinsettia, all the elements of the poinsettia, because you're going to be using those, all of it. Once you've done that, once you've got the heads out, and the next thing to do is you're going to decide what size card that you want. And I always let you guys decide what card you want, what size you want. And this is a size that I, I chose, and I chose a very cute little whimsical pattern and it has a bird on it and an already built in limb and I thought it was just really really cute and once you do that you decided the dimensions of your card make two cuts because you're going to glue them back to back and you can see here that I have a back glued on there and you're going to glue them to where you're going to glue just like this just a U right here a big old square U and you're going to leave this side open because this is the side that you're going to be placing some things in so don't glue this, just glue around that. Once you've done that and you've decided the shape and the size that you want, let's, uh, let's move on to the front cover. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the snowman head. That's your first step is to cut him out. And once you have him cut out, I want you to go ahead and put him on a riser because that's going to give him some height. After you've cut the snowman head out, you're going to take the second cut and cut that hat out of it. And I'm going to show you how much different that looks than if you just cut the circle out like that. Can you see the difference of what that looks like once you begin to make that a three-dimensional element? So the first thing you want to do is cut all the elements out of this one and then just cut the hat out of this one and then glue the hat to the top of that digi stamp. So now you have a 3D element going there. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut those poinsettias out. Once you get the poinsettias cut out, go ahead and ink and edge those and place them where you like them on your paper. Now, you're probably not going to have this paper, but you, can, you get the general idea of what I'm talking about. Lift those up on the corners. Don't leave them laying flat. It gives you more depth to your project if you'll, you'll you know, pull up those edges a little bit. And so you can see the difference in it that they look pulled up. And what I did was I made a baby carriage. And let me show you this baby carriage real quick. Now I did not, this is not my digi stamp. I cut this out of a Sizzix uh, die cut. 
And so I thought it was cute, but do you see how flat that is? And we're all about three-dimensional today. So what I want you to do is I want you to fold that top piece that goes down right there, and I want you to cut from right here to right here. Now don't cut to end to end because you'll cut the whole thing off. So you just want to make a cut right in the middle of there. And the reason you're going to do that is you're going to insert a little tab to give that a 3D effect. What I did was I cut a piece of paper out, and then I cut me some slats on each side and made myself a little makeshift tab. And the reason you're going to want that tab is where you made that little slice on that baby stroller, you're going to now sit that in there just like that. Can you see now that that has a 3D element to it? And you're going to just glue that down just like that. So it looks a lot different than it did before, doesn't it? And I'll show you what I mean on the card that I have. What I did was I just glued this on here like this. And this lifts up, so I have a little flat there. And I put the front part of this on a riser to cause it to stand up just a little bit higher. Now that I've got my snowman done, you're simply going to just place that snowman if you're going to do a baby carriage. And I wanted that top snowman just to simply look like he was just peeking over the top of the other little guy. And so you're going to put each one on risers. Depending on the height that you want them is going to be the height of that riser. You know, you can layer those risers on top of one another to gain greater height. So I thought this was a great whimsical idea. And that will teach you how to layer the layer the digi stamps. So let's move on to the other element of this, which is that wish list. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a um, envelope. Now I don't have a Christmas envelope. I um, wish I did, but I went to look for one. I'm out. So I'm going to just use an envelope that I had for my Halloween stock and my fall stock. But of course you're going to want a Christmas envelope. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to take your envelope and address the envelope back to yourself and then put a stamp on it. Now that you've done that, move that off to the side. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to create use some wish list tags. Make sure you leave room for journaling on there for them to put things that they'd like to get from Santa on this tag. And I use one of the snowman hats for my DigiStamp line and use that as one of the embellishments for one of the tags just to kind of give it a matching effect to the snowmen that were already in the project. But you want to leave them lots of room to put their wish list on there. Now, what? You, this is just such a great idea. I love it. Once you've made those tags and you have that envelope done, what you're going to do is you're going to take the envelope and you're going to take the tags and you're just going to place them in that slat that you left open on your card, just like that. And that's how you're going to send your card. And, but when they get it, they're going to have a surprise. Because when they get in there and they open that card up, they're going to pull out these little tags. And once they've made out their little wish list on, this, on these tags that you've made, they simply put the tags back in this envelope that you already addressed back to yourself and put a stamp on it. They just put those right back in there just like this. And they simply mail those right back to you. And you've got your grandchildren's wish list, your children's, your friends, your relatives, I thought it was a whimsical idea. I hope you guys go out and try the wish list idea. And I hope that you guys go out and try the um, digi stamps and go ahead and layer those. Make those 3D. Make them pop on your project. Anyway, thank you for stopping by the Wildly Whimsical Crafting Lock. And don't forget to check out those digi stamps. They will be on in the newsletter November the 22nd. They'll also be on my blog November the 22nd, which is at Wildly Whimsical Crafting Lock. I will also be selling them on eBay starting November the 22nd. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed your project today.